All right. So we're in section 3.13.2, and we are trying to find probability using permutations. Permutation uh, is defined as arrangement of objects in which order is important. If you look at our example here in the notes, we wanted to find the possible permutations for the word cat. And this means that we can place any of the letters, C, A, or T, in any order. And I wanted to see how many possible um, orders that it could make. And if you look at the notes, it shows that there are six arrangements for the word C-A-T. So that means that there are six, arrange, six arrangements for a three-object item. Um, initially, doing something in a smallest set as three objects like CAT is fairly simple to write out all the data but once you start getting larger uh, more more arrangement of objects you get uh, more ways that you can create possible permutations for example if you uh, find the total number of permutations for the word number that has six objects in it, uh, N-U-M-B-E-R. If that, look, you know, doing trying to get a, a, the data set for that would be um, uh, very large. But we have a way that we can solve that. So, if, and I'll show you first initially with um, the C-A-T word. We have three objects for our first example. So we can take the number three and we then multiply it by two and multiply it by one, which that equals six. That's where we get the six ways that we can make a permutation for the word cat. So now if we go with number, we got six objects for the word number. So then we go six times five times four times three times two times one, which then that ends up equaling 720, which that would be a much larger data set than cat. So luckily we have this um, shortcut to determine how many total number of permutations there are. This sequence has a definition, and, and it's called factorials. And factorials is kind of represented like this. See how I have the four with an exclamation point at the end? What that means is that this has what is considered four factorial. So four factorial here would equal whatever number that this is, so that's four, and then I multiply it all the way down to one. So it's times three times two times one. So if you got four times three, that's 12. 12 times two is 24. 24 and so, so four factorial ends up equaling 24. And that's, so 720 is actually six factorial. And six, is actually three factorial. So the general term for uh, factorial notation, so if I were to say, if I had n factorial, it would equal whatever n may be. It could be four, it could be six, it could be three, it could be 780. And whatever that is for n, you write that n. Then you multiply it going down until you reach one. And then you have to keep in mind that zero factorial equals one. Okay. Going back to permutations, if 
you're given the number of permutations by n objects. You can write it as you're given just like how we had for for cat numbers. You had six objects and you wanted to do it in a six arrangement, so then you just keep it as n factorial. But if you were to say have a number of permutations of n objects and you wanted to take them at r at a time where r is less than or equal to n you can write it as a equation looking like this where it's n factorial divided by n minus r factorial some of that does may seem a little bit complex so let me show you an example here is an example of you have 14 songs that you can choose for a playlist but you can only fit eight songs in the given time frame we want to know how many different arrangements of music can you play so you have 14 songs in your playlist like an mp3 player or something and you have a device that can only hold eight songs at a time but you can hold whatever you know whatever's in track one track two that's you know that can be different in any type of uh, situation that you choose so they want to know how many how many different arrangements can there be so this means is that we have a permutation where our n here equals 14 and our r equals 8 so this equals using the formula that are given up top. So this would be 14 factorial divided by n minus r. And that's 14 minus 8. So that gives us 6 factorial. So then this ends up equaling 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and it's divided by six times five times four times three times two times one. Now we we can do some cancellations since we have a six in the numerator and the denominator. We can cancel those, including with the five, four, three, twos, and ones. So now all we have to do is take. 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. So that leaves us with 121,080,960 different arrangements that you could take for your playlist. Now, I wouldn't want to find 121 million different uh, data set so luckily we have this uh, equation to help us out this example deals with um, finding permutations with probability and first off they have 10 students in your class that are given a report the order of the report is chosen at random we want to find the probability that your report is first and your best friend's report is second. Okay. There's some steps that you have to keep in mind now. Um, step one is we need to find the number of possible outcomes uh, as a number of permutation. So here, so we're going to find all the possible outcomes. So possible outcomes. And for this particular one, we have permutation where our n is 10 and our r is 10. So this ends up being 10 factorial. So 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. This ends up equaling 3,628,800. So that's how many different different 
possible arrangements that we can have with our permutation. So that's step one. Step two is we want to find the number of favorable outcomes as the number of permutations of the other students where we make the assumption that you will be first and your best friend will be second. So we can then take, so that would be what? So we take the most favorable outcome. Where you're first and then your best friend's second. So that means that we're left with eight more students. So what I need to do is I need to find how the, the number of arrangements with eight factorial. Okay. Now step three is we calculate. We calculate the number of the most favorable outcome, which was in step two. So that would be eight factorial divided by the possible outcomes, which is 10 factorial. Because we don't particularly um, it doesn't matter where the other arrangements are. We are only concerned with when you're first and your best friend second. So we can t reduce this to, we can make this 8 factorial, and we can put it down here, 8 factorial times 9 times 10, which then that equals, cancels, cancels, 1 over 90. So you have a 1 in 90th chance of having, uh, that's the probability, you have a 1 in 90th chance of you getting selected first and your best friend being selected second. And that is using probability, using permutation. Hope this helps. Until next time.